In this video we're going to look at the correct procedure for adding a tenant into REI Master. To add a new tenant into REI Master, click into your Tenants button at the top of the screen here, and then select the Add button at the top here. Before you can add in and save a new tenant into REI Master, you must have set up the property that the tenant is going to be linked to, or the, the property that the tenant is, be going, is going to be occupying before you can complete this particular procedure. You'll notice that you have the ability to convert a contact to a tenant as well. By selecting the button here, we'll bring a list of your contacts up. The relevant contact will be converted to a tenant. You select from the list here and then click on the select button and the relevant information of course will drop into the tenant record there. Very similar to converting a contact to an owner that we looked at in the previous video. In my example here, we're just going to use a new record information to insert in here to add in the detail. Put in your first name, last name and reference for your tenant. And then we can select our link to property button here to link this tenant to the correct property. Highlight and select the correct one that the tenant's going to occupy and hit select. And we should find the detail showing in the screen here. The address information, which should be completed of course on the property, comes under the other info tab in the property area. Once that is completed you will see some details showing in the screen here. Fill in the other contact information for your tenant of course, including phone numbers and mobile numbers and email addresses etc. Under the tenancy info tab we will now look at entering in the relevant information for the lease and the rental amounts. Prior to entering in any information on this particular tab here, I'm going to go to the Lease and Vacating tab. You'll see by default that the system has inserted the lease start date as the current date or computer date as we can see down the bottom here. If this is not the correct date of the lease starting, of course, you must use the drop down arrow here to select the most appropriate date. In doing so, you will see then that the end date has also adjusted, and in our case here, we have set up a default lease terms of 182 days. The default lease term information can be set up or adjusted in the general configuration area under the setup drop down list. Once you've inserted the correct lease from and to dates, go back to the rental information tab, and from here we can insert the amount of rent to be paid by the tenant. You'll notice that the pay to date here shows as the day prior to the lease start date of the 22nd of September. REI Master works on a midnight to midnight basis when it comes to looking at rental payments. Insert the quick, correct rental period as necessary. You'll see here that we have activated rent to the day for our tenants as well. Make sure that your tick is placed in the box there accordingly. Enter in the reference uh, if you have one so that when a tenant pays by direct credit or BPAY, you have an option there to identify the rental payment. You'll see now in the bond and deposits tab here as well that the system has calculated the bond required to be five, or sorry, four weeks worth of rent at $555. Complete the other information in the tabs here as necessary. And from here, we should be able to save our changes on our tenant as necessary there. Schedule the inspection for the tenant if you wish to do so by selecting yes. In my example, I'm going to say no. What I should find now in my list of tenants, of course, a new tenant showing in the system there with a rental amount, a current pay to date. Also, the land allow us, of course, to go through and receipt monies against them there. So in this video we've looked at adding in a tenant into the system as a residential tenant in the correct procedure for doing so.